executing women for abortions? Is this the new Republican Party priority? That's what we're talking about today. My name is Brittany Page. This is the Page Perspective. You know, the presidential campaign is already underway, and we've been talking about it a lot on the I Doubt It podcast, and we've continued to talk a lot about abortion in this country and the continued assault on the issue of abortion from Republicans. But this is taking things to a whole new level. As we approach one year of overturning Roe v. Wade, in June it will be a year, we currently live in a country where 13 states have full abortion bans. And this includes states where there are no exceptions for rape and incest. Those states include Alabama, Arkansas, Kentucky, Louisiana, Missouri, South Dakota, Tennessee, and West Virginia. This also includes states like Idaho, where citizens can actually sue abortion providers. But let's also talk about states like South Carolina, where the current law, according to reporting from Insider, punishes self-managed abortions with up to two years in prison and a fine of up to $1,000. But now, South Carolina State Representative Rob Harris has introduced the South Carolina Prenatal Equal Protection Act of 2023. And in this bill, he is proposing the death penalty as a punishment for abortion. And apparently this isn't the first time, according to that same reporting from Insider. In March of 2021, Texas State Rep Brian Slotten proposed legislation that would ban and criminalize abortion, which could carry the death penalty, the Texas Tribune reported. This bill, similar to those like it in the past, did not pass the state legislature. Let's hope this bill goes the same way. Let's hope this bill is also dead on arrival because these people are not serious. If they were serious, they would support evidence-based practices to reduce the number of unwanted pregnancies in this country, thus reducing demand for abortion because that's their stated goal, right? They want to reduce abortion. They want to eliminate abortion. So you'd think that if that was their stated goal, they would do the things that would eliminate, reduce unwanted pregnancies so people don't seek abortions, right? Things like comprehensive sex education, things like access to contraceptive, things like access to plan B. But no, they stand in the way of every single policy that could reduce the number of abortions. And instead, they seek to punish, punish women who try to get abortions, punish doctors, punish anyone who is trying to help assist women with their bodily autonomy. And there have to be some reasonable Republicans, right? That's what you might be asking. There have to be some reasonable Republican women, especially, who are coming forward and saying, uh, are we taking this a little too far? Well, let's hear from Republican representative from South Carolina, Nancy Mace, and how she responded to this bill rise today to address a very important issue in South Carolina's first congressional district, the state of South Carolina and the United States of America. Last week, a member of the state legislature in South Carolina filed a piece of legislation that would execute women who have abortions. To see this debate go to the dark places, the dark edges where it has gone on both sides of the aisle has been deeply disturbing to me as a woman, as a female legislature, as as a mom, and as a victim of rape. I was raped as a teenager at the age of 16. This debate ought to be a bipartisan debate where we balance the rights of women and we balance the right to life. Did you hear that? To see this debate go to dark places, the dark edges where it has gone on both sides of the aisle has been deeply disturbing. Both sides? (laughs) Both sides. I am, I mean... In this dark corner, we have we have men seeking to execute women for exercising their right to bodily autonomy. And in this dark corner, we have people who are against that and want to protect women's right to bodily autonomy. So many dark corners, all equal, terrible people on both sides, so much darkness, right? (laughs) The people who want to execute the women, the people who don't want the women to be executed, 
so much darkness all around. I mean, this is, again, not serious. We must reject these attempts to both sides everything. It's endless. We know which side is trying to put forth legislation that would have women executed for exercising their right to bodily autonomy. It's Republicans. We know which party is looking to ban abortions, even in the case of rape and incest, to interfere every step of the way with teaching people how they can prevent unwanted pregnancies so that they they don't need to be in a situation where they're seeking an abortion. We know which party is doing this. It's not about both sides. Enough. Enough with both sides. Let's keep this in mind as we continue to endure, <laughs> endure the lengthy presidential campaign that is just getting underway. And uh, as we head to vote in 2024, make sure you're registered, make sure you are prepared, make sure you're talking to people in your life about these issues, sending them this video about the Republicans who want to execute women for having abortions. What do you think? I'd love to know. You can give me a call, 657-464-7609, or you can send an email to idoubtit at dollamore.com. You can also support our work here on Patreon, patreon.com slash idoubtitpodcast. That is the podcast that I host twice a week with Jesse Dollamore. You can find it anywhere you get podcasts, and we're also starting to record them on video on YouTube, so look for that. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Take care and I will see you next time.